What's up everybody, I'm Marcus Harrosia. Welcome to part two of a four part series, I'm Not a Motivational Speaker. You know, it's, I figured I'd do this to get a, give myself a chance to get to know you more, you know, as well as you get a chance to get to know me. It's important, you know, moving forward to let, I told you I'm not a motivational speaker, so I just wanna tell you who, I, who am I and what do I believe in? What do I feel is my mission and purpose? You know, what I consider myself, and this isn't a title, it's more so a description, a, um, a mirror of words, you know, some, to say something that allows a person to see the potential of what they can be and then give them strategy to become it. You know, because I think one of the hardest things for a person to do is to erase their limited viewpoint of themselves. And sometimes a person does not have the right conversation with themselves to do that. And I try to think through, okay, what are, what are the psychological boundaries of a person and how could I help push them? I think people live much, they live below what they can possibly be simply because they, don't, they never picture themselves doing that. And once they picture it, the frustration is, how do I get there? And I think that's my role and responsibility, to coach people on towards the dream and to remind them of, okay, you can do this, but if you're gonna get to one million, you gotta start counting. You know, what are the steps from one to one million? And I think that's where someone such as myself, or a transformational speaker, comes in and thinks about how do you transform a life? What are the behavior changes that needs to take place? And I think one of, one of the first behavior changes for a person who is trying to take their life to the next level is for them to now create a new conversation with themselves. Not external, not just saying out loud, but literally what some would consider an incantation. How do you, what can you repeat, regurgitate to yourself that you don't babysit the opinions of people who expect you to behave one way? And you don't babysit the, opinion, the small limiting opinions of yourself, but you allow yourself the freedom to create the life that you ultimately want, and that's the conversation that you have with yourself. But you can begin to respect who you want to become, enjoy the journey, and every day make strides towards that. But how? To leave you at a cliffhanger like that would make me transformational. So first and foremost, I think that a person would have to then almost come become a documentarian of their own life to start thinking about what, what do you picture for yourself five years from now, three years from now, if it wasn't about money, if it wasn't about title, education, some of the rules or boundaries that you think keep you from having the future you want, if you could remove those and write on paper what you ultimately want to become, what you ultimately want to do, what you ultimately want to be, and then start thinking about what are some of the limitations that now in your personality, in your day-to-day -day function, it keeps you from that. You can begin to go on the path of recreating that. Now it's deeper than that, but I think that's a good starting place. So this is part two. Please stay tuned for the next two parts of I'm Not a Motivational Speaker. Win the day, everybody.